Working with PII and GDPR sensitive information on the Salesforce platform, along with attaining HIPAA compliance for the Salesforce platform, it is important to work with platform encryption using Salesforce Shield. So we're going to walk through the steps necessary in order to access this section we see through platform encryption. So the first step is you want to make sure that you have the manage encryption keys permission set assigned to you, which you can do through permission sets in Salesforce setup. Once you've done that, I would recommend to enable the restrict access to encryption policy settings, enable determinist encryption, allow, bring your own key to opt out of key derivation if it applies to you, and then encrypt custom fields and manage packages. So anything you download off of the app exchange or you create yourself and install as a managed package, that will encrypt those custom fields and then encrypt field history and feed tracking values. And this encryption process can be brought into any sandbox that is attached to your production instance. And even before that, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to generate a tenant secret. Uh, and we'll do that really quick right here. So we'll generate that tenant secret and we can destroy or export this um, since this has now been archived. Um, and you can bring your own key like we had seen on the advanced setting piece. Um, and that's always an option since 2017. Now from here, we're gonna to go to encryption policy. So what we can do over here is we can enable file and field encryption for your files and attachments. So anything that's coming over, you're attaching into the platform can be encrypted, encrypting chatter, search indexes, and change data capture events and platform events that you mix in with your process automation. Once you want that, you click save, and then you'll hit encrypt fields. Now, very important here. So this section is going to allow you to encrypt standard fields. Now, if you need to encrypt custom fields, what you're going to do, and we'll take a look at the account custom field called agency brokerage number. So for financial institutions, for example, if you're working with a number of different brokerages and they've got sensitive information, you may want to encrypt that. What you're going to do is just come down to general options. You'll hit encrypted and then you'll be able to save on this. Perfect. So once that's completed, um, what we'll do is we'll come to the contact piece and we can see that mobile and home phone are encrypted. So that has a, a number of implications as we're going to take a look at. But what will happen once you just toggle on one of these is it will just take a few moments to then uh, sync up. So you'll receive an email once it's been encrypted. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at we're going to take a look at the developer console to just see this in action. So if I select ID mobile phone from contact and then order by mobile phone and click execute. What we're going to see is we're not able to do that because it's encrypted. We cannot sort it by an encrypted field. And so once you've gone through all those settings, you have essentially stood up Salesforce Shield. Um, at a basic level, those are the steps that should be taken to set up Salesforce Shield to protect your data using platform encryption.